to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Ivern, the Green Father. Once long ago, Ivern Bramblefoot was a man. Hey, Krugs, how's the wife? A pretty bad one. As a Freljordian conquistador, Ivern took what he wanted and killed anyone in his way. Looking good, Brambleback. That changed the day he cut down a mysterious tree called a God Willow. As it fell, the tree's magic flooded the cruel warrior's soul, leaving him with a love of nature and new appreciation for life. Now, by protecting the forest from those with evil in their hearts, the Green Father hopes to find atonement for his sins. Ivern's passive is Friend of the Forest. Ivern loves all the jungle's creatures and would never harm them. Instead, he sets them free. By right-clicking on any non-epic jungle monster, Ivern spends some health and mana to create a grove that then matures over time. Once the grove fully matures, right-clicking it again will free the camp's critters who leave behind gifts of golden experience. Ivern can free camps immediately after placing a grove by smiting it or by clicking on any camp that's already missing its biggest monster. As Ivern levels up, the Green Father can share the red and blue buff with his allies. When he frees the Brambleback or the Sentinel, they'll leave behind the delicious little copy of the buff that can be picked up by an ally. Similarly, if an ally takes out one of the buffs themselves, a copy is left for Ivern. Farewell, you magnificent beast. You don't have to stick around near groves while they take root, but come back once they've matured and you can harvest them instantly with one click. Ivern's Q is Root Caller, which slings a long root that damages, and no surprises here, roots the first enemy it hits. Sneak attack! If Ivern or any of his allies try to attack the rooted target from out of range, they'll dash to their max attack range. In the centuries since Ivern became a tree, he's grown some very long grass roots. The root collar basic attack combo has enough range to let him red rover right over jungle walls. Ivern's W is Brushmaker. Brushmaker works on an ammo system, allowing Ivern to create several small patches or one large thicket of brush at a time. Brushmaker also has a passive that grants extra magic damage and range to Ivern's basic attacks whenever he's in brush. The effect briefly lingers after leaving brush, so he can still throw some zingers for a few seconds. Brushmaker is all about mind games. You can set up sneaky traps or just create complete mayhem in a lane without ever actually prancing in for a gank. Poor Lucian. Ivern's E is Trigger Seed, which places a protective seed onto an ally, granting a shield. After a couple seconds, the seed explodes, damaging and slowing all nearby enemies. Trigger Seed is great for buffing allies, but it's also Ivern's best tool for one-on-one -on -one duels. The ability's shield and damage turned this trade around for the Green Father, and the slow kept Cho in range for one final auto attack. Ivern's ultimate is Daisy. She's a big, happy sentinel who loves hugs and punching enemies. She's controllable with R or Alt right click just like Tibbers. If Daisy ever attacks the same champion three times in a row, she knocks up and damages all enemies in a line. Ivern is best at supporting other champions, but when he gets caught out, Daisy is there to help. While Ivern jukes around to dodge Riven's blows, Daisy gets in a few punches, activating her knockoff effect. Her body blocking kept the exile at bay until Ivern could bait her into a 1v4. How rude. Ivern's passive gives him access to jungle roots that just wouldn't work for other junglers. I want to put my toes in the river. After preparing his own blue buff for later, he goes in for a level 1 invade of the enemy red, Root calling over the wall to place a grow. He smites to save a few seconds and quickly goes for a gank on Xerath before the poor Megas Senate has even hit level 2. Mid flash down. Once Ivern hits 6, Daisy makes the green man's ganks a real hazard. While Daisy dukes it out with Ash, Ivern safely avoids turret aggro by making sure that she goes in first. 
Even then, Ivern generally avoids turret damage using his shield from Trigger Seed. Three hits from Daisy secures the knockup on Brom, earning the final kill. In teamfights, Ivern shines as a long-range support, with basic attacks to back it up. He starts out this fight making a beeline for the brush to enable Brushmaker's passive and focuses on Shogath until he dies. Then he helps take out Cassiopeia with a well-aimed root collar, giving his fellow tree man a free dash to stick to her. As they switch to Nasus, Ivern casts Brushmaker at his own feet to re-enable his ranged bonus damage, helping send their final foe to the dog pound. Where did that come from? Creating Brush Anywhere lets Ivern put opponents in some very uncomfortable situations, like this one, with five untargetable champions sieging an inhib turret, complete with a Blitzcrank grab. He shields Caitlyn as the siege begins and tags Thresh with a Root Collar. Unfortunately, this means he's missing all his defensive tools for the rest of the team fight, except for Daisy who puts a few hits in to help Caitlyn survive her battle with Garen. The Brush Hook alone would let any Greenfather player say, I've earned this one. <laughs> Thanks for watching the Ivern Champion Spotlight. If you've got a green thumb, there's more Ivern news in the links below.